Okay, I left off the track. We start, start, finish, and we break for turn one. Turn one, first of all, I have to say, compliments to Donna. If I watched the video footage from two years ago, I'm surprised at what clever positions they put all the camera angles. So the footage from Aragon is usually good or very, very good. They put the cameras on the right spot so you can see the action from different angles and from the correct angle. Now, watch turn one. It's a long, long braking zone for a very slow left-hand corner. It's very, very wide. Remember, it's 15 meters wide here this track. Turn two is the first right hand and that's a problem. That's a problem because turn 14, which is almost half a lap ago, was the last time you went to the right. So that was the last time we put some heat in the right side of the front tire. From there we go to turn number three, which is just a fast kink. If you extract everything from your rear tire, you're good, but you don't finish the race. From turn number three, hard acceleration, you go up to a kink left-hander where you already start to break in the middle of this left-hander and you break a lot for turn number five, which is over 90 degree and very, very slow. And make a hard drive acceleration out of turn five over kink number six, fully accelerating and then braking again hard for seven. That's another long trail braking area to the right side again with angle out of turn number seven. Drop the rear right high device, make a crazy hard acceleration over sort of a crash into turn number eight. Turn number eight is already falling away from you. Throw yourself over the right hand from the cliff down, put the bike immediately on the left side into turn number nine. And turn number nine is a very slow left hander on it. And after that starts a long, everlasting acceleration. It's a long turn nine. 10, 11 are three left handers in a row that are sharp, opens up, come sharp again. All left hand hard corners. Now, who I think about what left hand corners with high speed where you can do your magic that Mark Mark has. Then put the bike almost upright and start to turn in again and brake again for turn number 12. From 12, completely back to the left side of the track, throw it into turn 13, shortly braking it, hard accelerating out of 13, go to the outside of the track, over the curbs. From 13 to 14, very sharp right hander. That is the last part of this so-called Aragon bus stop and after that comes immediately 15 and I did really like that immediately and then comes a long straight you put the right high device down I expect speeds up to 360 km per hour and then we see the last two corners if you look on the track map that we have with this with this podcast you see you will be wondering like I do why they put two corner numbers in what is effectively one long last left hander turn 16 is the entry very fast left hander but for the riders they just make it one long corner the last corner is sort of a blind. You accelerate blind. Now, the sprint from the last corner to the finish line is very, very short. That's more or less what I want to explain to you about what the riders feel on the track. The next thing I want to share with you is the overtaking process.